Um, I wish that I had known more about newborn screening. I remember hearing about newborn screening, but I always thought, oh, you know, that doesn't matter. It doesn't apply to me. You know, I'm gonna have a healthy child. My son Elliot was actually missed at newborn screening. We, he was our second child, and we were told that he passed his newborn screening test with flying colors. So when Elliot was two and a half, uh, he got really sick, and we took him to the emergency room, and doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong. We ended up getting, Elliot got admitted to the ICU and was placed in a medically induced coma for three days. Um, doctors determined that he was having seizures, so um, they sat my husband and I down and said, you know, this is really serious and we don't know what's going on. You know, we could lose Elliot and we may not find out why. It was a really, really scary time. It turned our world upside down and um, about 10 days after Elliot was admitted, doctors um, found the cause and it was a rare genetic metabolic disorder called homocystinuria. You know, I remember asking, this is genetic, right? Where did it come from? How come we didn't know that Elliot had this disorder? And it was come to find out because he was missed at screening. So, you know, everybody's experience with the newborn screening system is very different. Ours, unfortunately, was not a success story. And so I just want other parents to know that a negative result, you know, doctors telling you that you have a healthy baby doesn't always mean that your child doesn't have a disorder. So I think in hindsight, knowing that there are imperfections and limitations to the system, while it does help and save many babies, it's not, it's not perfect. It's a system that's set up to create a, the best possible outcome for families, and in many, many cases, it does. And so I'm very grateful for the system. It's devastating to know that a lot of the trauma could have been potentially prevented. So we spent 29 days in the ICU with Elliot and um, it was really just quite the journey. So part of me processing through that experience was journaling. You know, that was a kind of a therapy for me. On August 6, 2018, I titled the entry Homeward Bound and it said, this will be my last update from the hospital. As of tomorrow, God willing, we're going home. Today made 28 days in the hospital, and boy, has it been a crazy journey. We came in on July 10th with a little boy who was in rough shape and without explanation. And tomorrow, we're leaving with our precious, strong little boy and the information that we need to help him live a healthy life. This will be a lifelong journey, but God willing, the hardest part is over.